Are you deciding between Berkeley and Jefferson County for your next home? We're back at it again this week on West Virginia Total Resource. I'm Kristen and this is Hannah. Today we're pitting the two fastest growing and most popular counties in the Eastern Panhandle against each other. We will see which one is left standing when the dust settles. You trying to cheers me? This isn't friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Berkeley and Jefferson County have some distinct similarities, but also some major differences. Today we're going to compare overall location, school options, population growth, things to do, and of course, home values. To spice it up, we're going to do this debate style. I'll be arguing that Jefferson County is better and Hannah will be fighting for Berkeley County. Clearly. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. All right, let's get these boxing gloves away. But I have to ask before we start, which county do you think is gonna appreciate more over the next several years in price? Let's get into that at the end when we compare home values. So stick around to find out what we think. All right, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Locations up first. Berkeley County is the obvious winner here. The county is perfectly positioned right on I-81, which has led to a number of manufacturing companies setting up shop here for the last decade, including Quad, Procter & Gamble, and Macy's. It's right between Frederick County, Virginia to the south and Washington County, Maryland towards the north. So residents in Berkeley County can move between states easily for work and recreation. And if you wanna to get to a major city, you can head to Washington DC or Baltimore within about two hours at the right time of day. Okay, more like three hours or more <laughs> with traffic. Jefferson County has definitely got Berkeley beat when it comes to being a better location for commuters wanting to head east or southeast towards Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Don't get me wrong, this can be a long commute, but it's much more doable a few days a week. If someone wants to drive five hours or more in a day, then they may as well become a truck driver. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> but the growing jobs and economy in Berkeley County and nearby Frederick County mean that you don't really need to go to the big city unless you want to. There's just a lot to do here. Frederick County was named the fastest growing county since 2020 in Virginia in 2023 by the Demographics Research Group at UVA. Berkeley County is the fastest growing county in West Virginia with a population growth of 2.37% between 2022 and 2023 while well, Jefferson County only grew by 1.33. Well, I'm going to actually count that as a positive for Jefferson County because we're going to be less crowded. We still have positive change, but maybe not quite as many people. Jefferson is 286 people per square mile as of the 2023 census data, while Berkeley County has 412 people per square mile. Hmm. We'll let the viewers decide. Round one, is it a tie or did I win? Tell us in the comments what you think about that round. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to school options. Jefferson County has 10 elementary schools, four middle schools, two traditional high schools, and a post-secondary transitional program for students aged 18 to 21 called the Lally House. There's also a free public preschool program hosted at TA Lowry Elementary School, those spots are limited. Lastly, while it's not in Jefferson County, students are eligible to apply for what everyone is calling the new charter school because the name is so long. <laughs> that would be Eastern Panhandle Preparatory Academy located in lovely Berkeley County. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Berkeley County also has a public preschool program and it has its own dedicated building called the Pikeside Learning Center. There are 14 elementary schools that range between kindergarten to second or third grade, six intermediate schools for third to fifth grade, six middle schools, four high schools, and one virtual school option from K to 12. Okay. We're not gonna debate about which schools are better because every child is different and you'll have to decide which data points matter most to you. But there are plenty of ways to research schools online, especially through niche.com. I will add that the Berkeley County website mentions that new students may not be able to enroll in their assigned school due to overcrowding, so you may want to build some more schools over there considering how many people are moving. All right, all right, calm down. <laughs> Both counties get a boost for anyone looking for private school because they have options for the HOPE Scholarship, which is a statewide grant you can apply for that provides funds for anyone wishing to opt out of public school that gives usually a few thousand dollars, up to four. Berkeley County also has Blue Ridge Community and Technical College with campuses in Martinsburg and Berkeley Springs. Programs offered here include nursing, emergency medical services accreditation and physical therapy, business, culinary, community advocacy, education, engineering, 
health sciences, and many options for technology. Well, we have Shepherd University in Jefferson County, which offers 80 plus majors, graduate programs, continuing education, and lifelong learning programs for students of all ages. For the athletes, Shepherd University is the home of 15 NCAA Division II athletic teams. The university also offers over 100 clubs and organizations, so whatever your interests, there's likely a group for that. Lastly, for you theater buffs, Shepherd University offers a contemporary theater studies program, the only contemporary theater studies degree in the country offered by a public university. Hmm, well, Blue Ridge community is a whole lot cheaper, but I'm not gonna argue much past that. I know what I'm best in. <laughs> We're so glad you're tuned in today, and now is the time to take a quick break to like our video if you're enjoying it. And comment below if you have an opinion on which county is better. Are you a diehard Jefferson County fan or a faithful Berkeley County enthusiast? And don't forget to subscribe too, so you'll know when we release our bi-weekly videos. Now, all this talk about location and schools is great, but many people who are watching won't have kids and won't necessarily need to be commuting east. So they really just wanna know what there is to do around these parts. Well, Jefferson County is the obvious winner here, with the Hollywood Casino and Racetrack, plus comedy shows, concerts, and more. Places like Charlestown and Shepherdstown have bustling farmers markets, parades, and fairs year-round. Plus, historic Harper's Ferry draws tourists, boosts the economy, and is just an overall slam dunk. We've got the river, the mountains, the views, and tons of artifacts from American history. And at least four different places to get ice cream. <laughs> Way more than that, actually. Truly something for everyone. <laughs> Well, Berkeley County has plenty to do, although it may not be quite as hopping. We've got the Yankar Preserve, the War Memorial Park, Poorhouse Farm Park, and Sleepy Creek Wildlife Management and more. The last one has over 20,000 acres, so it's not that sleepy. If you're looking to hike, go dirt biking, canoe, fish, or do any outdoor activities, you are covered here. You can also catch a show at the Apollo Theater, try dozens of dishes at the garage in Martinsburg, or go golfing and visit the spa at the woods in Hedgesville, or even go to Black Draft Farm and Distillery. In the summer, you have to check out JD's Family Fun Center for a water park, go-karts, batting cages, mini golf, and more. Clearly, there's a lot to do in both locations. Fill out the form in our caption to get our list of the top things to do and explore in Berkeley and Jefferson County. If you want your dollar to go farther, Berkeley County is the clear winner. Single family home prices for the last year were between 12,000 up to 899,900, with an overall average of around $300,000. Meanwhile, Jefferson County prices are nearly double with a range of 28,000 up to 1.8 million and an average of around 400,000 over the last year. Homes might be cheaper, but I think Jefferson County wins overall just because of historic Harper's Ferry. And that's a knockout for you. All right, gloves off now. <laughs> Both counties have definite pros and cons, and hopefully by duking it out here, we've been able to highlight some of the reasons why we both think that they're great. Practically speaking, since the prices in Jefferson County are already fairly elevated, I expect that Berkeley County may have more appreciation over the next five to 10 years. Although with many Northern Virginia residents feeling the squeeze of higher prices, there may be a large influx of people more likely to move to Jefferson County due to the proximity and their willingness to pay higher prices for homes. Well, you make some pretty strong points there. Also in Jefferson County, it's close proximity to the DC Metro may also give it a little more insulation when there are down cycles and home prices go down eventually. Are we actually agreeing on this one now? I think so. Appreciation is a hard thing to predict, but certain homes are more likely to appreciate than others. For example, when you buy a new home, it's kind of like buying a new car. The price goes down once you drive it off the lot. In normal markets, it takes longer for a new home to appreciate in price, especially while you're competing with brand new homes being built. In terms of home prices, we've experienced extraordinary appreciation for the last three to four years, while in normal years, a home value might appreciate three to 5%. We have seen annual increases in eight to 10% as of late. This is due to so many factors, not enough homes for sale, historically low interest rates, which just added fuel to the fire. Thanks for that federal government. <laughs> and of course, people coming out of the pandemic with some pretty bad cabin fever. Where you choose to invest in your next home will depend on so many factors. Expected price appreciation is just one thing to consider among many. Lately, everyone just wants to know where the best pickleball games are. <laughs> Probably Jefferson County for that. 
We'll see. <laughs> Whether you'd like lower home values and want to be in a more remote location, or you'd like easier access to the DC Metro and a more bustling community, there are options for everyone between Berkeley and Jefferson counties. I'm also going to throw another wrench in here since it was already one of our spicier videos. If you're debating between West Virginia and Virginia, up next you need to watch our video on Clark County versus Jefferson County. Mm, good point. Clark County is a little gem tucked between everything that not everyone knows about but home sales are limited here since it's a bit smaller. If you're planning a visit, you'll definitely want to add this to your list of places to check out. That's enough fighting for today. See you next time.